in the end, it's going to probably be about four minutes or five minutes of additional photography. That's all entire, you've added. For the entire movie. Okay, yeah. That's good. See? In the, in the four hours that is Justice League, maybe four <laughs> minutes. And I don't know that you've seen a lot of movies. Um, there's a few, but there's not a lot of movies that are that have four minutes of additional photography beyond what was shot in principle. Um, most movies have quite a bit more than that. And most movies, you know, the cool thing about this film is that, uh, you know, it is, a, it is a pure extraction from the script that Chris and I worked on, that Chris wrote. It is, a, it is directly from the page through the prism that is the experience of making the movie. Because frankly, when Dark Side attacks, yeah. when Dark Side is coming, um, you needed to plant enough seed. You need, there needs to be enough, you know, characters on the edge that can fight because yeah. you, you need to really like, you know, the, the defenders of earth need to come together and more even than the Justice League, not just the Justice League, but kind of like the defenders of earth. And when I say that, I mean like, you know, whether it be all the Atlanteans, all the Themyscirans, the yeah. armies of men, everybody because the, the the lanterns everybody because that's a real war you know What is good My YouTube? First it's here with a video on the Justice yes. League Snyder Cut that it's now officially called Zack I mean, Snyder's could make a Justice really cool League. So, <gasps> earlier last <gasps> week, a few days ago, as a time of recording this, that? we had a pretty cool <laughs> interview with Grace Randall from Beyond the Trailer with Zack Snyder himself, where he dropped a few bombs. So, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscribe marker. We'll be giving away something so darn cool. And all you got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on and comment down below. What do you think is coming tomorrow with the Us United watch along on Vero with Snyder himself? So also check us out on Instagram at Warstew and Twitter or Warstew G. Right, let's get into this. So it's been advertised for a long time. The 17th of November is a very special day to Snyder Justice League fans like yourself. The movement started last year, 2019. 17th of November properly. This is when Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, or Stu, Jason Moore, when everyone really got behind this. That's why it's called Us United. So Zack Snyder himself tweeted out, and also on Vero, see you all tomorrow for a teaser breakdown only on Vero. More information to come. Oh, wait. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday. Sorry, I thought it was today. Yeah, so it's happening on Tuesday, which is the 17th, which is going to be cool. Now, he said during his interview with Grace Randolph, they're going to be going over the trailer that was taken down because of copyright and it caused the whole internet to go in some kind of ambiance frenzy thinking that the movie was cancelled. So I made a troll video going, oh, oh the movie was cancelled. So he said he's going to like break down the trailer and there's going to be a few small surprises, a few new tweaks here and there. But it doesn't matter because actually it's going to be a brand new trailer at some point. From what are we hearing from trusted sources, there is going to be a brand new trailer tomorrow with many new details about the Snyder Cut. There is so much new information. Because you remember, this is a four-hour movie. Do not believe the media that says there's five minutes of new footage. That is out of context. What Zack Snyder meant was during reshoots, additional photography, four to five minutes is new scenes on top of the four to five hours that he had shot years ago that wasn't used. You remember, Shoss Whedon shot 200 new pages. Literally 90% of the movie was not Snyder's work. So there is so much new footage that you haven't seen. So Dark Side is coming. And it's interesting that Zack Snyder himself also teases there is so much more in the Snyderverse than just this movie. If you listen to it, multiple interviews carefully, Zach's been dropping Snyderverse information left, right, and center. I will tag on a couple of videos before this video starts, most likely, so you can get the full proper context of what I mean. So we know there's going to be a Justice League 2. I will play the clip before this video starts. Zack Snyder says, when Darkseid's coming, you need to plant enough see what sequel 
He almost said sequel, so maybe they might reveal the sequel tomorrow. It's obviously got to do with the HBO Max descriptions and how well it does. As we know, Zack does one at HBO Max, uh, sorry, in IMAX, in black and white. There are rumors that the trailer could be in black and white, and a lot of people are skeptical. But yeah, I will tag a clip. There's literally a clip of Zack Snyder himself talking about Darkseid, and he literally nearly makes a mistake. He comes so close to making a mistake. He, it almost feels to me like he was going to say sequel. But as we know, Zack Snyder has been teasing. This is a, you know, Snyderverse for such a long time. you got to question, when are they actually going to start revealing stuff? He keeps dropping pictures here, like there, and left, right, and center. Fabian Wagner is also keep, uh, if you follow him on Instagram, he keeps dropping new images left, right, and center, like dropping the costume test. So go check him out on Instagram. Uh, I think it's at Fabian Wagner. I'm not specifically sure what it is. But tomorrow is going to be such a special day. If you're a Snyder fan, so much F-bombs are going to be dropping tomorrow with this watch along on Vero. Now, we are verified on Vero at Warstu. If you want to follow me, I don't exactly post on there, but I'm on there if you want to check us out. So it will be a very cool week this week if you're a DC fan. Not just... Not just not just for Snyder stuff, not just for Justice League, but for other things. Now, it is interesting how everyone keeps bringing up this narrative. $70 million to do what exactly? Uh, VFX on Steppenwolf properly, Dark Side, and, you know, VFX, the four hours movie that we never got. So, Us United will be cool. They've been posting so many images of Superman's mother, of Gal Gadot, of behind the scenes, of the green screen. But wait. Zack Snyder doesn't use, oh wait, no, don't listen to some people. Zack Snyder does use green screen. Now, I can't wait to see whatever's coming up tomorrow. So as far as we're concerned, will be a trailer, maybe a release date, and also the black and white trailer, and also revealing the official title, because it's kind of being revealed, but that's why they've taken off all the social medias, because it will be called Zack Snyder's Justice League instead of Justice League Snyder Cut. So that is why it was taken off all social medias. I mean, maybe there was some copyright issue, but not really because this copyright issue came at, what, months after the initial trailer was dropped? And do you not think a big company like HBO Max and Warner Bros would be able to sort a copyright claim to do a music out pretty darn fast, seeing as Warner Media technically owns music? I mean, mo they own most music. Um, so I'm pretty sure they could have handled that pretty swiftly if that is the case. And it's going to be pretty cool to see the fact that Jared Leto and Ben Affleck are working together on the set of Snyder Cut. It's going to blow everyone's mind. He's going to have a different look. Let's hope he takes the damage tattoo off his face because as cool actor as Jared Leto is, he's currently in the Gucci advert. Looks nothing like that. He's also Morbius. He's all over the place. Jared Leto is a talented person, but he, he got mistreated so to speak because of sweden and you know the warner bro disaster and all that kind of good stuff so like always guys let me know what is coming tomorrow will you be watching the vero watch long with zachary sorry with zack snyder himself make sure to hashtag us united make sure to follow me on twitter watch gg and instagram at watch there is so much more that's coming tomorrow. There's a picture going around of Zack Snyder with a bomb in his hand because he's going to be dropping bombs. I mean, there's so many cool images. There's an image that Fabian Wagner posted of a Gal Gadot with a Batmobile in the background. It's always cool to see new imagery of the Batmobile. you got to understand, this is four hours of new footage that we haven't actually seen dropping bi-weekly. And I presume they will be officially revealing that. But as far as we know here on the channel, it will be bi-weekly. And a target date is March to April towards the end of March, which is going to be cool. And let's hope this new trailer shows us a kind of work in, work in progress VFX of actual dark side himself that would be so cool so guys 17th november set your calendars set your phones i don't think zach's actually posted so like publicly exactly when it's going to be but remember, don't listen to these like social media websites that are trying to make you think the Snyder Cut's only five minutes extra when it's four hours plus. I mean, really? Yeah, I'm here to set people straight. So remember, Zack Snyder's dropping all bombs tomorrow. Definitely, he will be dropping some bombs. And the internet is going to break. 
I just wonder what Marvel's going to put out to try and retort this. You know, you know, it's when DC puts something out, Marvel puts something out, you know. We get the Us United, you know, Grace Randolph, Zack Snyder interview. All of a sudden, Chris Pratt, Star-Lord is in Thor 4. I mean, a bit of a coincidence that that news came out after, you know, that interview came out. They dropped bombs left, right and centre. Interesting, he's not spoke about Green Lantern because his Green Lantern was actually filmed back in 2016, I think it was. And it's so interesting how the Sweden Ray Fisher cyborg looks so much different to Zack Snyder's version of uh, of cyborg. It really does. So, guys, like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure to check us out tomorrow because we will be talking about whatever Zack Snyder and his team. I'm sure Deborah Snyder will be there as well. What I'm sure there might even be some special guests from the Justice League crew, like last time Henry Cavill got involved. So we don't know. We don't know what's going on, but they're going to be dropping f bombs left, right, and center. So, like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you. In another video, but first check us out on Twitter, WarsTuG, and Instagram at WarsTuG. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch ya later.